assignment and write-up. I am um, I am straight from architecture school. I'm an actor and I'm uh, an accountant. I also do animation just a little bit. Yeah. I've mostly been a dance performer on stage. I do contemporary dance, African contemporary dance, and I'm an actor. Yeah, I also do some good work as a script or oh, the continuity supervisor. I make leather bags. That is where I'm skilled from, and uh, I do it part time. Then I do acting full time. I'm a performing artist. Yeah, I major in theatre and screen, as well as voice acting. I'm a storyteller and a lover of photography. I love photography. I'm an actress. Um, yeah, basically, I'm an actress. And I got to know about this lab through a friend when I saw Ibua uh, Writers and Actors Lab. I really got interested because I had heard of the name before from a friend of mine called Denise. I think he had work, he still works with them in the writing lab, in the writing of scripts. So I wanted to better myself in writing and acting. And I believe you can never stop to learn. Every process is a learning process for me. The voice duos that we had really helped me. The self-awareness whereby, let's say, I'm supposed to speak at a louder tone, and then I like, find myself speaking, but then I realize, oh, I'm supposed to speak like this. The real, the awareness. I, I've improved with the uh, verbal, the speech, because we've went through uh, different voice exercises, uh, pronunciation, articulation, uh, I've not acted with speech, but I've only been acting with the body, so I've improved with the, with the, uh, with the words, with the pronunciation, with the articulation. Hey, um, what's up? Uh, is this community? Yes, this is Abdul. We met at your sister's graduation party. Do you remember me? When I got in, I had to learn about uh, character development, I learned about character research, I learned about uh, body movement, I learned about uh, uh, voice development. I used to be, and I and you know, but now I, I can project, I can talk, I the breath control. Which course did you do? No, which course did you do? <laughs> okay, let me ask you the question. The rest is saying, mm. Mr. Mushaba has been the best. Uh, best I said, actor. You can stop from there. there. This dress, Grace, you ask Grace, is she married? If she's not married, we can even. I can take her up. And how to massage my inner, the, 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 the inner organs, and all that. The yoga thing helped me a lot. I have just uh, drills um, for voice, strengthening the voice. Uh, so I give them uh, lip drills, uh, tongue drills, and then also breath exercises. Whoa! I, it's when I learned that breathing actually also has bad breathing and good breathing. <laughs> Usually this happens on auditions, you kind of get into a room, off the script, they give you a scenario, like just try out something, freestyle it, and minds cannot easily run to tap in experiences to showcase. It's been a challenge that I've really worked with in this lab. I'm thrilled that I can actually use my body as a tool of expression more than I thought I would, because in the first two weeks, uh, the physical classes with Roger Mas Masala, they, they really broke my concept of what my body could do. Oh, oh, so this is oh, what you have been doing this oh, me. Oh, so you were dressing like this, that my father looks at you, huh? No, I didn't. I didn't. All the, the preconceived ideas I had of what, what one can do and can't do with their body were, were broken down and I can actually work with it 
the, there's like lots of potentials I can explore. Okay. I got to understand the, the beauty of knowing your surrounding. So, here I guess she is. <laughs> like, did you hear anyone after the name Bridget? Bridget all the time, making me ask that. And working with it to better your performance. Because with screen, it's basically you and the camera, like that. You imagine the audience. But with this, it's a physical audience. You have to, to keep in mind that you have someone who is directly peaking from your energy. If it's low, then it will really, really be low. And if it's high, it will really be beneficial. Through the lab, we have been uh, offering different techniques, different acting skills, and also working with the physical body, breaking it, and molding it into characters, uh, which I believe has been an important thing for uh, the people who apply for the lab. It is important for, for, for the actor to know how they use their body, how they use their voice in the storytelling. I really thank the Boa and Mountain Meat Foundation for this extreme opportunity. It's a blessing. Every day a performer learns something new. Now I have something to share with friends who didn't get a chance to be here. And if an opportunity ever comes up, I believe I will know and I'll be the first person to share. It was really, really insightful. I wish I had had this opportunity before. I think I would be a thousand times better. For me, it gave me joy that we were able to understand quicker and uh, we're eager to work towards that and I think we were doing that uh, during the lab and off the lab. Boa Publishing was a, a company uh, who set up this lab just like you have seen it uh, happening uh, and ending today. We send out posters, it's going to be happening every year, yeah? and this particular one has been running for a month a full month. Yeah, in the years to come, we hope we shall increase the time.